This presentation takes a brief look at the history, purpose, and uses of zoning in Wisconsin. Let's start with a bit of history. Zoning is one of the most widespread land use controls used by local government. With origins in Germany in the late 19th century, zoning first took hold in the United States in the early 20th century. In 1916, New York City developed the first zoning ordinance to apply citywide. The city of Milwaukee quickly followed suit, adopting the first comprehensive zoning ordinance in Wisconsin in 1920. In 1923, the Wisconsin Supreme Court upheld Milwaukee's zoning ordinance as a valid exercise of the police power. Three short years later, the U.S. Supreme Court considered the landmark case of Euclid v. Ambler. This case confirmed the constitutionality of zoning and gave rise to the adoption of zoning ordinances throughout the nation. Zoning was originally applied in urban areas to protect single-family residences from incompatible uses such as factories and commercial establishments. However, Wisconsin was the first state to authorize the use of zoning in rural areas. In 1923, the state legislature authorized the use of zoning by counties to regulate the location of commercial and industrial establishments in unincorporated areas, subject to town approval. In 1929, they expanded this authority to allow for the management of all uses in rural areas. By 1933, Oneida County adopted the first county-wide zoning ordinance using this authority. This is also considered the first example of a rural zoning ordinance in the United States. Wisconsin is also considered an early leader in the development of zoning regulations to protect water resources. In 1935, the legislature amended county zoning powers to allow for the regulation of land uses along natural water courses. In 1966, the state legislature adopted the Water Resources Act to address significant increases in shoreland development. The Water Resources Act gave local governments responsibility to adopt, administer, and enforce minimum shoreland and floodplain zoning regulations. By 1971, all Wisconsin counties had adopted shoreland zoning ordinances. Several changes have taken place to the program since, including the addition of shoreland wetland regulations in 1980. The Standard State Zoning Enabling Act, which was published by the U.S. Department of Commerce in 1926 and adopted verbatim by most states, provided that zoning regulations shall be made in accordance with the Comprehensive Plan. In the rush to develop zoning ordinances, many communities ignored this requirement. A survey conducted in 1998 found that less than one-third of Wisconsin communities had a land use plan of any kind. These plans varied widely in their content, quality, and age. In response, the Wisconsin Legislature passed the Comprehensive Planning Law in 1999. The law provides a definition for a comprehensive plan and requires that zoning, subdivision regulations, and official maps be consistent with a comprehensive plan. In the early years after the law was passed, a grant program provided funding for local communities to plan. By 2013, more than 1,500 local communities had adopted a comprehensive plan to guide the future land use decisions in their community. This compares to just over 1,300 communities that have zoning.